to black, green smoke to black, green turn to black, yeah, that's what we stand for, green turn to black. Green Hello everybody, Russian Nihilist here. And now I'd like to take this time to talk to you about a universe coming from nothing. Absolutely nothing. You take nothing and something comes out of it. See, in quantum physics, in quantum mechanics, I should say, if you have nothing, you're always going to get something because of quantum fluctuations. Now, if we look at the microwave background radiation, for example, we see this lump, the lumps of the, these hot and cold spots of the universe. Now, if the universe was closed, these lumps would be bigger. And if the universe was open, they would get smaller. They, they would be smaller. But see, in a flat universe, the lumps would be just right. They go in perfectly with what uh, WMAP found, what that satellite found, with uh, the microwave background radiation left over from the Big Bang. It's like an opaque wall. You can't really see past that because it's like this plasma. Since at 3,000 degrees temperatures, it kind of breaks apart hydrogen atoms and you get like a wall. You can't really go back farther than that. Now, if you look at the universe, you may think it has some energy since, you know, we're here and then there are stars and everything that we made, you know, just light, just all that kind of stuff. But you may think it has an energy, but it really doesn't. It has zero energy. We have measured that and how we have to weigh the universe. And we weigh it by using the uh, galaxy clusters. But if we weigh it, we of course get that mass that isn't there. And that's the whole dark matter thing. But here's what we have found. We have found that there is energy and then gravity also has a negative energy. When we do the math, it comes out to zero energy. There's no energy in this universe. So with quantum fluctuations, if you have nothing, you're always going to get something. Because only a flat universe with no energy can come from nothing. That's why we can literally come from nothing. Now, I can't make something come from nothing. I don't know how to do that. I can't start a bunch of quantum fluctuations. I mean, they're happening all the time. You know, the whole uh, Heidelberg's uncertainty principle, it always happens. But some people ask me about how we can measure the curvature of the universe, because the universe is pretty big. We can't really go from one side to the other and measure it. But here's how we do it. If you take the Earth, for example, and you go along the equator, and okay, let me get some sort of round spherical object for this. Okay, I couldn't find any round spherical objects. But here's a story I have to tell you. If you go along the equator from, let's say you go a quarter of the distance around the Earth when you go around the equator. Let's say you go a quarter of that distance. Then from point A to point B, you go to point C. Point C is the North Pole. Now if you go to the North Pole and then draw and you, you're drawing a line to each one because you're trying to make a triangle. Because with a curved triangle, you can actually make three right angles. If you go up and ask someone what's the sum of the angles in a triangle, they'd say 180. But if it's curved, it's 270. If you curve it enough degrees. Because if you draw a line from the North Pole to point A, and from the North Pole to point B, and from point B to point A, you get three right angles. 
Okay, you guys can try this at home with a basketball or something. I don't know. But it works. And we can measure the curvature of the universe like that. All I have to do is find a big enough triangle. And that triangle was found with the WMAP satellite and um, uh, some other test. I can't really remember the name of it. But that's how we can prove the curvature of the universe. And if we can take the curvature of the universe, we can figure out how it started and how it's going to end. Because if it's open, it's going to end up in a big crunch. And if it's flat, it is going to keep expanding faster and faster and faster. And it's going to go, later it's going to go on into, everything will be going so fast that objects will be moving at the speed of light away from each other because we're speeding up. And from what we're observing, it's going out faster. This is a flat universe. It has no energy. Something can come from nothing. This is how I will link down there now, since I can't do that anymore, or that. Fuck, I already forgot. But I will link a seminar by Lawrence Krauss. It's all in there. You guys are going to love it. See ya.